Yo, what's up, asshole? So, I'm gonna do a little voiceover on the LSA install, and then, uh, probably throw some cam action at the end of it, how we installed everything. I'm gonna just go over, like, some little things that we did, and just discuss the events that happened. So, here's the fuel system. Uh, we decided to do 85, upgrade it to the four innovations. This kit's amazing. I would highly recommend it. There's the dual 450s. But, uh, doing this part right here was probably the most sketchiest. Uh, having to do the little trap door, uh, you know, we probably could have blew ourselves up. But I found out the chisel was a lot easier. It just worked its way around, cut it open. Here we are taking the old, uh, 93 pump out, or I probably had 87 in it. I don't really know what I had, actually. So I would definitely say the fuel system was the hardest thing I've done to the car. I had no clue what I was doing. I just kind of had a few friends online help me, but that was about it. I had to cut all types of different line. I had to put these connectors on. It was all a whole new experience to me and you just kind of put everything where you think it should go there's no you know set directions and then wiring it up wiring part was actually probably the easiest the hardest part was probably putting this bucket in there because my little level thing kept falling off and it actually ended up falling off right before we blew the thing up i can't even lie this radiator was uh way more harder than i expected there's so many lines and everything and it probably weighs more than i do so i was struggling with it and here's the fun part putting the lsa on got this thing from boost district as you know they cost a lot of money but this is just your basic lsa uh 1.9 liter no 2650 uh that'd be nice to have that but nah i think you'd be surprised how much power you can actually get out of a portrait lsa just saying but uh we also put a 2.5 pulley on it you know, wanted to get a little bit more boost, uh, running a stock bottom end pulley, just your regular one that comes on like CTSVs and all that. And then uh, here's my boy Chevy Terry cranking her down. He told me I needed, I didn't need a torque wrench. I said, you know what, you go ahead and do it. You ring them off, you can drill them out, but uh, we were fine. So then uh, sliding the LSA lid on there, or the ZL1 lid, you know, like we slide in the DMs, you know, so put that bad boy on there and bam there she is boys she's all tightened down i totally forget the torque specs but you don't need torque specs don't worry about that she ain't going nowhere and uh yeah it's wild to think this is on a g8 like back in 2009 they probably had no clue people would put these on there but and uh doing these little injectors i got 1050 injectors id they're pretty nice uh i didn't run out of power at least not yet so and then uh here we go with the tensioner so tensioner water pump because uh, if you don't know, you gotta get a different water pump if your G8's a certain year. Didn't know it till I started installing it. Head in the crank. I was not gonna do it, but I was convinced by several of my friends and people to do it. Sketchiest thing I've done. I hate doing stuff like this because if I damaged it, I would I would be the one that messes up. So didn't mess it up. She's pinned. Uh, the balancer never fell off. So get her nice and tight. Like I said, torque specs don't worry about her. Putting the belt and pulleys on. Uh, my little baby heat exchanger, there she is, she's going on there, and then uh, I filmed these cutters that my dad probably used back in the 70s, so cut that with the hose, get her nice and tight on there. If you uh, lube her up with some WD-40, you can stick her right on there with ease, no problem, goes right on there, and then I had to wire it up, so somehow I figured out how to find the ground and the fuses, I'm usually not good at electrical stuff, but somehow I did it. And uh, there's my little baby, uh, probably half a gallon coolant tank. So I highly suggest get an ice tank if you're going to do this. Then we took her on the dyno. We made about 670 to the wheel. That's with that good old five inch intake on her. She really needed those five inches. So we gave it to her. And uh, yeah, I was pretty happy with 670. So don't worry, boys. I'm not going to talk forever in this video. I'm going to show you all some cam footage just here. Just take your time and just uh, squeeze it with your finger. Woohoo! Everybody knows. All right, boys. Ha -ha! We got some Mac power, baby. Look who showed up all late. Better late than never. Yeah, it's coming. Oh, there it goes. Jack her up. Oh, oh. shit. What was that? This water coming out of the water pump. Jack her up. Where I get my ass. God dang. You My good? first time ever really working on anything like this. I've never pulled a motor done any motor work other than the headers when we first got the car. And that was pretty simple. But this was a whole different level. Uh, if I didn't have my dad's help, you would probably still be pulling the motor to this day right now. Uh, he was a big help. I learned so much from that. And then when uh, I pulled my motor the second time here, um, like a couple weeks ago or months ago, 
uh, it was pretty pretty easy. Like I learned so much from that. I got it done within four hours compared to like the eight hours it took us when we first did this. So then here's the old cam taking that thing out and then putting the new 660 springs in the Texas Speed. And then here's my 226, 244 blower cam. Uh, this cam is pretty nice. I really enjoyed the way it sounded and I felt like it pulled pretty hard on the top end. Uh, but it got destroyed. So if you haven't seen the videos, go check the videos out. Where's that knife? Yo! <laughs> 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 Can't hold anything on me now. You guys got it. See, so this does what? We're going. He is nice on I just need some, letters. some awesome, grease. Awesome. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you see we pulled these wires out of there, so that's the crankshaft position sensor. Got it from Napa. So we're just gonna rewire re it up and pray to God that it uh, actually works. You gonna start going up? It probably took us a good eight to ten hours to get everything put back together and dropping it back in and you know the alternator starter all that bull crap had to go back on and uh, the hardest part was probably putting that dang uh oil dipstick tube back down in there but here's the first startup this is what uh this is what you sounded like sits inside the rocker arms just like these snapped off in the head so the other half of this bolt is right in here out of everything that's happened to the car or everything that i've done to the car this was probably by far the craziest thing that i've seen happen i was only freaking out i had no clue what was going on with the car and then pulled that valve cover off and there the rocker arm was laying in there just blows my mind that uh, we actually were able to drill that out, re-thread it, and then slap her back on with uh, pretty much no issues at all. So I got lucky. I thought I was going to buy a whole brand new head, which uh, at the time I was not trying to do that. So it's crazy to think that in 2020 of May, we did the cam. And then of May of 2021, we did the LSA. So hopefully 2022 May turns out uh, similar to the last two years. So, so hopefully I'll have an update for you guys as to what's next for the car, what's going on, because... I've been, I can be a little sneak peek. I got some stuff going on down here. I've been collecting some parts, but hopefully in a couple weeks, I'll have something really good in store. And uh, it's like a little secret right now, but uh, that's about all I got for uh, making this video. I kind of ran out of content, so I was like, I'll try to put something together. But yeah, uh, make sure you have any comments, hit that like and subscribe button. Or if you have any questions, hit that like and subscribe button. Or follow me on Instagram at one bad eight, and uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.